Uh, I ruined my relationship with my local milk bar over a block of butter. <laughs> a block of butter. All, All right. right. This um, when, team. when was this, Frank? Um, it was about, I would say that it was about 10 years ago. What happened with the, the stick of butter that caused such a kerfuffle? So I bought a stick of butter and, um, and the butter was better than I bought. <laughs> um, and I took it home and there was a bit of sticky tape on the end. And I went, Yuck. what? That's not right. That nah, can't be, it shouldn't be. be, is it? And it was. And when I peeled it then open a bit further, you could see a, one tiny little, like the, the butter knife had that, you know, the little serration yes. some knives have? Just a little bit of a serrated little thing on it. Someone had been there. Maybe even like a half a piece of toast it would have covered or something. And then put it back <laughs> together, sticky taped it sticky back taped up, it, and, and then sold it to you. And sold it to me. Did you return it? At that point, I should have laughed and gone and made the sound that the audience made, which was, oh, <laughs> and, then, and then just gone, you know, let's leave it at that. But I grew up in a milk bar, and I think maybe a little bit of my family pride in, in a yeah, milk yeah, bar. Yeah, hang on yeah. a minute. No, what we lived in a milk bar. My family ran a milk bar. And That's so I... every child's oh, dream. I yeah. Oh, but there, are, there is a dark side. I did have to watch out for Dairy Queen friends. You right. know, those, those kids who only want to hang around you so they can... You know. <laughs> oh, that would have been me. Um, so I just I took it back to the milk bar. And, like, I thought it was quite funny in a way, but I just thought they should, they should know. And this is where it started to go a bit kooky. I showed him the sticky tape. I said, look, see this sticky tape? And I folded it back and said, look, there's been a little sliver taken out of it. So I'd like to have the butter replaced. And I, was, I hadn't really been prepared for the fact that what the man said was no. <laughs> and I said, no, it did, it, no, it happened. I got it home and he went, no, no, no. And I said, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I went, I'm going to replace the butter. And he went, no, don't. <laughs> and I said, I am. I am going to. And I put it down on the counter and I went, I'm getting another butter. And he said, no, no. And I said, yeah. And he went, don't. And I said, I am. Stop, no. Nah. And I took it and he went, don't. And I said, I'm going with the butter. And he went, don't go. And I went, yeah. And he went, no. And I said, I am. And, I, <laughs> and then it was like, bling, 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 through the door. Yes. And, and I walked out onto the street and I thought, I can never go back into that shop ever again. <laughs> and that's my local milk bar. Yeah. What have I done? It wasn't worth it. What we're being asked to judge here is whether that was a sufficiently embarrassing episode that he'd never go into the milk bar again. Have you ever heard of just going in and saying, sorry? I actually went in and I said, look, I, I really want to say sorry. And he went, no, no. <laughs> if, if this is true, I love the idea that he has seen you on television since with his family that's been like, the butter man! <laughs> <laughs> Do we think he looks like the man who was raised in a milk bar? No. OK, then maybe it's a lie. I don't think... You, don't, you look like you didn't have enough calcium as a kid, so... <laughs> This has become a roast. Um, <laughs> like, I can't ask? believe it's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it's a lie. I think we're all saying yeah. it's a lie. Unanimous. Frank Woodley, is that the truth or a lie? Well, it is actually true. Yes! Oh! <laughs>